Today is March the 25th. It's the Feast of the Annunciation. Let's listen to the account in Luke's Gospel of how God's messenger came down to visit Mary in Nazareth and ask her to be the mother of God. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favoured, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words, and asked herself what this greeting could mean, but the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy, and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has, in her old age, herself conceived a son. And she whom people called a barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. And Mary said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let what you have said be done to me. On this Feast of the Annunciation, Father Tom, Father Johnson and I will pray in the Church of Quex Road a litany to our Blessed Lady. We pray this litany with you and for you. And the candles which are lit at the statue of the Blessed Mother are lit as we remember each and every one of you and your intentions. So on this Feast of Mary, we pray this morning. Glory to you, God, our Creator. Created to us new life, new meaning. Glory to you, God, our Saviour. Lead us into your way of peace and justice. Glory to you, healing spirit. Transform us to empower others. Mary, wellspring of peace. Be our guide. Model of strength. Be our guide. Model of gentleness. Be, Be our, our guide. guide. Model of trust. Be, Be our, our guide. guide. Model of patience. Be, Be our, our guide. guide. Model of courage. Be our guide. Model of risk. Be our, our guide. guide. Model of openness. Be, Be our guide. guide. Model of perseverance. Be, Be our, our guide. guide. Oppressed woman, lead us to life. Liberator of the oppressed, lead us to life. Marginalized woman, lead, lead us, us to life. Comforter of the afflicted, lead, lead us to life. life. Cause of our joy, lead us, us to life. Sign of contradiction, lead us to life. Breaker of bondage, lead us to life. Political refugee, lead, lead us to life. Mother of the liberator, pray for us. Mother of the homeless, pray, pray for, for us. us. Mother of the dying, pray, pray for, for us. us. Mother of the sick, pray, pray for, for us. us. Mother of the non-violent, pray for us. Widowed mother, pray, pray for, for us. us. Unwed mother, Pray for us. Mother of a prisoner, 
pray for us. Mother of a condemned man, pray for us. Mother of the executed criminal, pray for us. Woman of mercy, empower us. Woman of faith, empower us. Woman of contemplation, empower us. Woman of vision, empower us. Woman of understanding, empower us. Woman of grace and truth, empower us. Woman centered on God, empower us. First disciple, empower us. Sharer in your son's ministry, empower us. Participant in your son's passion, empower us. Seeker of God's will, empower us. Witness of your son's resurrection, empower us. Let us pray. Mary, Queen of Peace, we entrust our lives to you. Shelter us from war, hatred and oppression. Help us to live in peace, to educate ourselves for peace. Inspire us to act justly, to reverence all God has made. Root peace firmly in our hearts and in our world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will say the Angelus together. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Go forth to beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that through the incarnation of Christ thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The divine mercy come upon us, help and strengthen us at this time. Amen. So this morning in union with Pope Francis and Catholics throughout the world, he invites us at 11 o'clock at this moment now to join together in saying the Lord's Prayer. So united as brothers and sisters at home, we join with you as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.